I love that song. Love it. A lot more people need to be more humble. <laughs> Thank you, boo. Thank you. You guys, if y'all don't mind tapping the screen so we can get some more people up in here, they might need to hear a message. Um, we're going to cover um, from May the 15th to May the 31st. Ain't it 31 days in this month? I think so. <laughs> I'm going to wait until a little bit more people get up in here, y'all. If y'all don't mind tapping the screen, it'll invite more people in. TikTok is so weird. You would think they would um, send notifications to everybody, but they don't. They don't do that shit. I don't understand why they don't do it. We work very hard. <laughs> hey, what's up, baby? Thank you for the follow. We finna go ahead and jump into this read. <laughs> anyway, y'all, it will be for May the 15th to May the 31st. I'm going to turn this down. I love this song, though. So, you guys, um, this will be good for TikTok and YouTube. I'm going to pick up on the energy of the collective. Thank you for the rose, boo. Um, but this will be for May the 15th to May the 31st. We're going to kind of see what the energy is going to be like after this eclipse. Um, is it? Yeah, it's the 15th. I think the eclipse starts tonight. Well, Central Time. It starts at like 9, 11 or something like that. I'm excited. I'm, I'm probably not going to go live tonight because I'm going to um, do a little bit of shadow work. This is a good time to do some shadow work releasing things that no longer serve you um and incorporate incorporating things in your life that will help you are better your future okay um you guys like i said we're gonna go ahead and jump into these messages i'm gonna start off with the scoop deck okay this is a good deck you guys i love this deck y'all if y'all want to purchase this this is on the etsy shop i think i think it's on etsy now but if not, I know it's on makingplancards.com. Y'all can go there and purchase it. I love this deck. So we finna pick up and see what the scoop is, okay? What the T is um, that's gonna be coming in, okay? I am picking up on a lot of good energy, but I'm also picking up a lot of exes or people that you done cut off trying to come back from the past. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you already know a lot of these people intentions is not good, it's not great. Okay, they could definitely be going through something financially or they just see you looking good. You look gorgeous. Okay, you're beautiful, baby. And I'm also picking up haters for some of you guys. You're going to have people hating on you that you don't even fucking know. Okay, you don't even know these people. Um, Yeah, I'm picking up haters, y'all. Um, But I feel like y'all not worried about that bullshit. You know, I feel like you got your eyes on the prize. Also, y'all, I did get some angel numbers. Um, I got 1133, I got 1155, and I got 1212. So I don't know if you guys have been seeing those numbers. If you have, look them up because I'm, I'm picking up that this is really going to mean a lot, okay, for a lot of you guys. Also, when I was meditating right before I started the live, um, I saw X. I kept seeing an X, and I'm like, Spirit, what do that mean? And I heard X marks the spot, and I saw a treasure map. So it's like spirit is about to lead you to your treasure. Okay, whatever it is you've been hoping for, wishing for. This could be money. This could be an increase in your finances. This could be a home. I did see a red sports car. It was like a red and black sports car. For some of you guys, you could be getting a new vehicle as well. But I am picking up that a lot of things is about to change in your life. Okay, but let's go ahead and jump in. Let me stop talking. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective for May the 15th to May the 31st. We got guarded. <laughs> and she got a piece too. And this says very guarded and protective over hard. So a lot of you guys, you already know that for a lot of people that is coming back in your life, like I said, they don't have the best intentions for you. I'm also picking up that 
there could also be like people who's coming towards you they want to get to know you but y'all are going to be very guarded or very selective i'm also hearing something about i keep hearing spidey sense like your spidey senses could be going off about these people thank you boo um but i'm definitely seeing you guys protect yourself y'all could be wearing a lot of black or something as well i'm also seeing like black bodysuits like fitting outfits i feel like you guys look good you you're, you're going to be very mysterious i'm hearing as well something about your energy people are going to be drawn to you spirit show me what i need to see what else we got terminated <laughs> um i just heard it's you disqualified <laughs> Um, so yeah, like I said, there's people who's wanting to come back into your life. You already done terminated these damn folks. Okay. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're not looking back to the past. Not at all. We also got romantic thoughts, having romantic thoughts about you. So there's definitely people from your past that's thinking about you guys a lot, but I'm also picking up new people as well. There's a lot of people who really want to get to know you. I'm hearing spirits say, use your discernment, okay? If you feel like it's something off about these people, all right, you might want to check into that a little bit more. Make sure these cards are in the upright. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of people who want to get to know you, baby. I feel like for a lot of you guys, something about you, uh, I feel like for some of you guys, you have, you have definitely went through a major transformation, not just energetically, but physically as well. I'm also picking up, you have raised the bar. So if there's people who's wanting to come back, baby, they're going to have to come, come through with the come through. If they ain't coming through matching your energy, you're cutting them off. You know, you don't want to have nothing to do with these folks. We also got gratitude and it says show it says show more gratitude. So for some of you guys, and this could be for some of y'all, not not a lot of people, but I'm picking up that you could feel like things is still not going the way you want them to go, or um you could be waiting on something to come into your life. Spirit is wanting for you to have gratitude because I feel like you have come farther than you think you have, or you have you have come farther than other people, okay. Um, something about when you have gratitude for the simple things in life, that's when spirit come through and bless you, okay? Just waking up in the morning, breathing that fresh air, not jumping up out of bed, running to the shower, throwing on your clothes, jumping in the car, but like literally giving yourself time to give God thanks, okay? I remember when I first started my spiritual journey, like, um, I pulled this card for myself because I just felt like I wasn't as far as I wanted to be. So I started getting up in the morning, opening my window. I would set me a chair by the window, uh, pour me some tea or coffee and just breathe that clean, fresh air. And it just feels so good. I would look at the trees, the birds, the grass, just giving thanks to God for waking me up to see another day. So I'm picking up something about you guys have gratitude in your heart because whatever you're wanting this is coming okay but have gratitude for the simple things in life confusion y'all we still in mercury retrograde so i'm sorry if i'm still picking up on exes but it's because they trying to come back a lot of them is about to reach out to you guys so you know that whoever this is that's coming in is going to bring a lot of confusion into your life and i feel like that's something you simply can't tolerate um, confusion and conflict may be going on at this time. Whoever this is, I'm picking up that they are wanting to leave a situation here. Whoever they are dealing with, they could definitely be butting heads. Okay, it's a lot of arguments, a lot of fights, um, a lot of confusion. And I feel like if they come towards y'all with this shit, <laughs> I just heard it ain't nothing to cut the off. <laughs> um yeah transformation so yeah whoever this is that's coming back into you guys life you have transformed you are not the same person that you were when this person left your life okay i feel like some of them are expecting you to welcome back welcome them back with open arms but they're gonna get hit with a rude awakening okay a very rude awakening here um 
I'm also picking up that this person do see you have transformed, but they might feel like, okay, physically you don't transform, but they might feel like you still feel the same or you still got emotions for them. No, nah, nigga, everything about me don't transform. Okay, that's that's what I'm hearing you guys say. This is somebody who's expecting to come back to the person that they was dealing with before. Um, we also got meant to be. And this says this relationship is magical. It is meant to be. Like I said, you guys, you do have somebody new that's going to be coming in. And I've been seeing a lot of fireworks. Um, when I did my live reading last night, I saw fireworks. So y'all could definitely be celebrating or something could be taking place around the 4th of July or yeah, I'm here in uh, June 19th as well. Um, you could definitely be going to some type of event. You're going to be meeting someone here. I'm picking up on, or you could be going on a date with someone, but, um, whoever this is, they definitely have a lot of romantic thoughts about you. This is the type of person that will bring you flowers on your first date. You know, they, they I'm hearing traditional. This is a traditional type of person. Spirit, what else? <sighs> we got childish. Um, and it says someone is being very childish. I am kind of picking up there for some of you guys. If you was dealing with a divine masculine, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it like this: a man. This could be somebody who have a ch a child by a karmic here. I feel like this is somebody who I met. They match. Um, this person could be very very childish. Like I said, they blend heads. It's a lot of arguments, fights. It's a lot of cheating as well. It's what I'm hearing. Um, but this is somebody I feel like. This person is trying to escape from this energy, but at the same time, it's like they don't want to walk away from a child here. I'm also picking up the energy that, yeah, something about them not wanting to walk away from a child or this person could be holding a child over the, over their head. Like saying, if you leave me, I'm going to put you on child support. You know, like just stuff like that, which they should take care of their child anyway. You shouldn't have to put no man on child support. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right. All right. Um, And I'm also hearing something about blackmail. So they can know a lot about this person. Things that this person is not wanting people to know. They can they could be holding this over their head as well. Spirit, what else? Yeah, this, this person is definitely wanting to come back in. Like I said, you guys, you are leveling up, okay? I'm hearing top floor, top flight, okay? You top flight security, baby. You ain't got time for no low-level shit. You just don't. Um, A lot of you guys, you're, you're a boss or you're a diva. You can definitely have your own business or you are leveling up in your career, um, if this is a job, you could be getting a promotion as well. But I'm seeing you guys definitely walk in your divine feminine energy, whether you're a woman or a man. You're taking care of yourself, your body. Thank you, boo. I love you. You're taking care of yourself and your body. And I feel y'all, y'all done lost some weight. Somebody done lost a lot of weight. Look at this belt. You see this belt on her? It ain't even buckled. <laughs> it's not even buckled. Um... But yeah, somebody see you guys done level up and they're wanting to, I'm hearing escape. I keep hearing escape. We also got new view, seeing things from a higher perspective. A lot of y'all are about to take the fuck off, okay? Y'all could be going on a trip or this could be a business trip or a vacation. Um, I'm hearing something about exploring. Uh, whatever is coming in for you, this is definitely going to open up different pathways. Uh, where you're going to have more freedom as well. You're going to be able to do things that you never thought that you was going to be able to do. Okay. And this person could definitely know this. That's another reason why they're wanting to come back. I'm also picking up that whoever you guys was dealing with, they could be dealing with a lot of responsibilities or they're carrying a lot on their back. And this person, this is somebody who could downgrade it when they left you. They could have went towards someone who, this is somebody who depend on men or they depend on women to take care of them. This person has been, been having to pay for everything. Okay, I'm hearing drained, exhausted, tired, depleted. Um, look, we got catfish. Ooh, we got catfish. Someone 
is not who they appear to be breaking point things are becoming too much to bear so i am picking up that the person that you guys was dealing with this was somebody who was a catfish too i feel like this person could have came in and sold you their dreams but um whatever that they was trying to sell you this was not reality i'm also hearing that whoever they are dealing with this is somebody who's a catfish as well they could have thought that they was leveling up when they left you but they definitely downgraded this person is going through a breaking point right now i'm hearing explosion like this person is about to explode erupt um i'm hearing breakdown break break down Instead of breaking me on down. So yeah, somebody is breaking down. Okay, they feel like the relationship that you guys shared was meant to be. Um, this is somebody who definitely feel like they messed up. But I'm picking up this person still have like ill intentions or their intentions is not pure. This is somebody who still haven't went through shadow work. Spirit is going to require this person to do some type of shadow work. Or something about humbling their ass. <laughs> spirit is going to humble their ass around this time okay i'm picking up that saturn is definitely going to be affecting this person um something about saturn is going to be affecting this person this month i need to look up and see where it's at right now what house is in um because saturn is the planet of judgment uh saturn is like the judge of the planet so if this is somebody who have a lot of deceitful energy or very malicious, spirit is about to make a ruling or some type of judgment is about to take place. We got hidden truth. This is somebody who could also have been hiding from you or you could something about you guys not hearing from this person in a while for some of you. Um, but this also saying you are hiding from your true self. For some of you guys, this person was meant to take this journey with you. But I'm hearing something about, bitch, you disqualified. I'm hearing spirits say this person is disqualified. <laughs> okay. Um, this is somebody who was hiding from their true self. Okay, like I said, this is a very childish energy. Um, This is somebody who is having a hard time facing reality as well. Um, I'm also hearing something about, it's like this person don't want to see you guys elevate without them too, is what I'm hearing. Um, yeah, something about your growth. This person don't want to see this because, uh, like I said, for a lot of you guys, you are leveling up. Between this year and next year, baby, you, you're not going to be in the same position. Like, I'm picking up that things are about to pick up in your life. Thank you, boo. Things are definitely about to pick up in your life. I'm hearing Jack and the Beanstalk. Like, y'all are about to climb this Beanstalk and go get that damn Golden Goose. Okay? I say, yeah, Golden Goose. That, that's money for days. Thank you, boo. That's money for days, okay? Whatever you're doing, this is going to constantly put out. It's going to constantly put out. I'm hearing um, automatic income for some of you guys. So, yeah, this person is not wanting to see this shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this person is a hater. This is somebody who need a therapist. I'm hearing psycho. For some of you guys, you feel like this person is psycho. Are they crazy, bipolar, schizophrenic? Um, I know some people don't believe in it, but I worked in the health healthcare field for, for 12 years. And it's a such thing as hormonal imbalance or chemical imbalance or brain injury. Something happened to this person. They lost oxygen as a child or something. Okay, this is somebody who needs to see a therapist. This is also somebody who don't went through a lot. And like I said, breakdown. This person is about to go through some type of breakdown. They definitely need to see some type of help. Um, Someone needs to visit a therapist. Yeah. Okay, this could be somebody who got a lot of skeletons in the closet as well. A lot of secrets are about to be revealed about this person too. And y'all, like I said, I'm sorry I'm picking up on them. Uh, but we are in Mercury retrograde, so I have to pick up on the energy that's coming in. I don't want to talk about the ass. I really don't. Okay, but spirit, this is what spirit is telling me. Y'all going through an upgrade. Okay, y'all press the damn button. And now you about to take off. 
okay for some of you guys you're starting a business online because this is definitely giving me like laptop or something you are about to launch here um something you're creating uh, you could be doing a lot of research um i don't know why i just heard a background check okay y'all could be thank you boo <laughs> thank you um for some of you guys you could be hiring employees in the near future because i feel like i said this is going to be taken off you might think you can do everything on your own but baby when that money start coming in i feel like for some of you guys you're definitely going to need help you might end up getting a background check on some of your employees but yeah baby y'all about to take off off do you hear me thank you for the roses boo I just heard Kendrick Lamar, uh, swimming pool. Uh, what is it? How do it go? Shit, I can't even remember. But this is somebody, this person could be drinking a lot. Okay, this person is definitely deep, deep in their emotions around this time. Um, this is somebody who's looking back at you and it's like they're beating their self up. Okay, this person is definitely beating themselves up. This says someone's feelings runs really deep but they are concealing it so yeah i'm picking up that this person want to come in and talk to you but at the same time they could be very feel fearful for some of you guys they are going to reach out to you others of you this person is just drowning in their emotions they're not telling you or no one else how they feel okay i'm hearing stress worry um fear um, and I'm also picking up anger. Like this person, emotions is all over the place. This is somebody who's very imbalanced right now. Okay. What else, Spirit? Spirit said, cleanse your energy. Okay. Uh, protect your energy. Don't let this person in your energy. Because like us, a lot of you guys, you have already balanced your life. Um, you done did the shadow work. You um done went through the healing. You done did the inner childhood, you know, healing and all of that. You are connected to spirit. Your angels are protecting you. Your ancestors are guiding you and watching over you. This person is definitely wanting to come back in. Spirit is wanting for you to protect yourself from this person because this is somebody who's not right. This person ain't right. <laughs> it ain't not right there. <laughs> okay. Um, this is somebody who want to be like you. I just heard want to sound like, be like, act like. So, yeah, it's like this person is wanting to mirror your energy. Um, and this says experiencing similar energies here. Yeah, this person is definitely wanting to come back into you guys' life. But some of you guys, this is a twin flame you was dealing with. But I feel like spirit done cut this person off. Or something about a contract has been um, de declined. I'm seeing a contract be ripped up and burned or something here. For some of you guys, you did a cord cutting or something about you cut this person energy off. Spirit wants you to continue to do this because you got something so much better coming into your life. I feel like you guys have been very patient. You've been waiting, but um, you're waiting on the right one. You're not settling. You're very selective on who comes back in your life. We also are who comes in your life. Uh, we also got jumping to conclusions. You may be jumping to conclusions without all the information. Um, I feel like this is not you guys. This is this person, okay? Um, this could be somebody um, that feel like you already got someone or something. This person feel like you're already taken or you are hiding someone. Something about you hiding a relationship. But for some of them, they feel like you already taken. That's another reason why they haven't came in. Um, I'm also picking up that there could be a karmic partner this person is still dealing with. They feel like this person is talking to you or something about you wanting this person back. I feel like y'all don't want that shit. Okay, you don't want this person back no more. For a lot of you guys, you don't. I feel like you're moving on. Um... Yeah, this kind of this came out in reverse. This is somebody who was needing to purify their energy. Um, it says purify your energy and aura. Spirit has been warning this person or trying to push this person into healing themselves. But this is somebody who also got sex addictions. Because every time I look at this car, it's like this person, she looks like she having an orgasm or something. So this could be somebody who has sex addictions 
or I'm hearing that it could be a lot of toxic energy around this person or attached to this person as well. Okay. For some of you guys, um, this is somebody who's wanting to copy you. Something about copying you and mirroring you. Or this could be somebody who is trying to make somebody else like you. They can't duplicate you. You can't be uh, reciprocated. They can't do this shit. Okay? They just can't. They, you, Whoever they trying to make like you, they don't have that empress energy. It won't never work. I don't care how much you dress something up to make it look like something. It will never be like, sound like, or act like that person. It just won't. Spirit, let me, I'm going to see what else we got, y'all. For some of you guys, you could, you could be a performer. Um, or you could be in the entertainment business here. Uh, a musician, a writer, a singer. But I'm also picking up, you could be a content creator. Um, whatever it is that you're doing, I feel like this person feel like you're the missing piece to their puzzle. I'm also hearing something about you having a crowd or like an entourage or um, something about people like your soul tribe. A lot of people are drawn to you. Um, and I feel like this is definitely going to make you guys successful for those of you who do have your own business and you are in the public eye. This person feels like you are the missing piece to their puzzle. And this is somebody who's upset here. I'm also hearing that this person could get caught up. Um, this says someone actions are catching up to them. I feel like this person is definitely spying on you guys. Um, and it could be behind this karmic's back or something here. Um, I'm hearing lust. This person is lusting over you. And something about this karmic is going to find out or she already know that this person is wanting to come back. And this is somebody who's hating on you. And she could definitely be trying to act like you guys because she know that this person is wanting to come back to you. Or he know that this person is wanting to come back to you. Whatever. Vice versa. Take it out. Resonate. Let's see, y'all. Mm-mm. Oh, Lord Jesus, have mercy, have mercy. Let's see what else, y'all. I'm going to pull a couple more oracle cards. We're going to do oracle cards tonight because I'm going to wrap this up soon. My baby birthday today, y'all. We're going to do her little pool party. She's so excited. Divine Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective. May the 15th to May the 31st. My baby nine, and she almost taller than me. She gonna be so tall. We got feather coming out. So a lot of you guys, you have definitely went through some type of ascension here. You could be seeing a lot of feathers or a lot of birds. Um, I'm actually seeing a white bird. This could be a dove or a seagull or something. You could be going to the beach or something or crows. I'm seeing a lot of crows. I've been seeing them myself. Um, but you're definitely, this is like your angel's way of talking to you. Um, you're going through some type of as, uh, ascension at this time. Yeah, there's definitely angels all around you guys protecting you. Signs from angels here. You're getting a lot of signs from your angels. I'm picking up, you are heavily guarded. Okay, heavily guarded. Spirit, what else? Yeah. Yeah. From whoever this is that's wearing a fucking mask. Okay? Your angels already know this person is wanting to come back here. This is somebody who is keeping a lot of secrets. Telling a lot of lies. They're very deceitful. They're hiding their true intentions. They're hiding their feelings. Okay? It's like this person wants you back because they know that you got all this good fortune that's about to come in. Like, they see this. Okay? This person can see this. We also got fluid being in the flow so for a lot of you guys you are in the flow of life okay i feel like you stopped fighting the tides and you learn how to ride the waves because i'm seeing a surfer okay y'all could definitely be going to the beach or something but i'm seeing like a surfer riding the, the waves here a uh, natural movement acceptance no resistance yeah you're not resisting what what spirit is bringing to you. You know that whatever spirit, whatever task or test that spirit puts you through, this is for your highest good. Okay. It's going to evolve you and help you grow. 
um cupid's arrow <laughs> okay for some of you guys you got a pisces that's coming into your life here okay um because i'm seeing the two fish um, but this says finding true love, falling in love. Love is in the air, meeting someone new. Y'all got somebody new that's coming in, okay? And whoever this is that's wanting to come back, they can't stop this. If you want someone new, spirit is bringing this person to you. Um, I just heard Keisha Cole sent from heaven. Y'all going to feel like this person was sent from the most high. And that's the truth. Spirit is sitting this person. We also got umbrella. And this says waiting out the storm. You are protected. Um, prepared for trouble. Anticipating difficulties. So you, you feel like if this person. For some of you. You know this person going to reach out to you. But you prepare. Um, like I said. It's like I'm seeing someone in full armor. Like full armor. Like you're prepared for this. Okay. Um. I'm also seeing like a uh, like an army standing behind you, like an armor, a army of angels, are like your ancestors. They are prepared <laughs> for this person, and it's like I'm hearing something about a warning. They are warning this person to stay the hell away from you. If this is somebody who try to come in and interfere with your energy. Something about spirit is going to severely punish this person. Okay. So some of you guys, you're definitely going to be receiving a phone call. All right. I'm here and get ready. Communication is on the way. Somebody is wanting to come in and express themselves. But I'm, I'm definitely seeing some type of conversation taking place, you guys. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Hold on, y'all. Let me drink some water. Let's see what spirit got to say about y'all money. What y'all need to know about your finances here. Divine Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective. What do they need to know regarding their finances, Spirit? May the 15th to May the 31st. I keep seeing someone like press a button and things just... Fireworks. I'm seeing fireworks. Spirit... We got solitude. Some of you guys, you could definitely be in solitude because you're working on something. You're building something here. This is definitely giving me divine feminine energy. Okay, woman or man, take it how it resonate. But this is definitely giving me divine feminine energy. Um, and I'm also hearing something about explore. I'm hearing boss as well. This is this says retreating into your private world to find answers. Spirit is about to drop them gems, them golden nuggets, okay? Achieving great things will be hard and come with lonely episodes. For some of you guys, you can feel very lonely in what you're doing. But I'm hearing that this is temporary, okay? This phase two will pass. But what you're building right now for your future, baby, this is something nobody can take away from you, okay? I'm hearing that it's yours. And like I said at the beginning of this reading, X marks the spot. For some of you guys, you are finding your treasure. Something about your treasure is being revealed or something here. Yeah, because we also look life purpose. And that's kind of giving me the image of a sun. Look, something about the power is in your hand. It's what I'm getting, getting here. Um, your hands are very creative. Whatever you build with your hands, it's going to bring you success. Whether this is molding, painting, writing, drawing, um, building, um, editing for some of you guys. Like I was telling y'all uh, last night, if y'all want to be a content creator and you want to learn how to capture people attention, you definitely need to get Premiere Pro or some type of editing um, uh, app. Okay, so you can enhance your skills and your gifts. But whatever you are creating, baby, this is gold. This is gold. Gold. Okay. <laughs> I'm hearing uh, Austin Powers. <laughs> what? I ain't seen that movie so long. You found your life purpose. Creating the life you want. You're manifesting, recognizing that you have everything you need in the palm of your hands. Okay. That's what I'm hearing here. 
all right for a lot of you guys you're definitely you're very persistent um this could have been an uphill battle some of you guys you definitely struggle to do this um even during your darkest days your darkest hours you still spirit spirit admire you your angels admire you i'm hearing hands down okay they are excited for you and that's one reason why there are they are eliminating these toxic people from your life but this could have been an uphill battle y'all okay it could have been very dark for you but look the sun is coming up okay i'm hearing you're almost there i'm hearing you're at the finish line and this says your persistence will pay off don't give up now foster the persistent mindset you have you have to have a persistent mindset you have to set those goals every day and execute them okay do not say oh well, i'm gonna put it off to this day well you know what i'm gonna do it next week no 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 delays okay um stay focused and press on okay that's what it says here we also got my throat so dry we also got rebel a lot of you guys breaking away from the system you're breaking away from society you're doing your own thing you're about to make your own money i'm also picking up you are standing out from the rest you are very unique you're different and that's that's another thing that spirit is admiring about you guys it's like you found your true authenticity for some of you guys you could have been trying to do what other people wanted you to do i'm hearing um Something about nurse, lawyer, attorney, uh, justice system. I'm hearing school system. Um, I'm hearing dead end jobs, workplace. You could have been trying to do what other people was doing, but you found out this shit didn't work for you. Okay, this was bringing you stress. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you just kind of sat back one day and said, do I really want to live the rest of my life like this? Do I want to wait and retire when I'm 65? Do I want to wait and enjoy my life when I'm 65? Hell no. I think the fuck not. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys said this. Um, This says limiting beliefs are limiting your abundance. You guys, you, you saw this. I'm hearing. Um, System buster. Look, system buster. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it said right there. Y'all busting the system wide open. Um, a lot of you guys are meant to be entrepreneurs, are teaching others a better way. And when I was meditating, before I started this journey, I meditated and asked God, what was my life purpose? I saw myself in front of like a class of people teaching them things that I have learned so I can help them um, unlock their gifts. So spirit is definitely um, calling you guys to lead, I'm hearing you you are a trailblazer meant to pave the way for future generations okay yes baby can't nobody stop you you was destined for this shit. okay <laughs> i just heard future you deserve it you deserve it future so you deserve this in your future okay you deserve this you earned this you worked hard for this but some of you guys you are about to get to work Look, look, look. I'm telling you, I got to drink some more water. This is damn person right here, y'all. This is not y'all energy. This, this is damn person. This person is experiencing a halt in their money. Like I said, this is somebody who going through it, okay? They could be paying for everything or taking care of a household. For some of them, they don't lost a job. Or they could be living with family, friends. They could have went back to a karmic because they really don't have a place to stay. But this is somebody whose money is in jail. That's bad when your money is in jail. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up when your money is in jail. And this says there is no money coming in or coming in very slowly. This experience is meant to bring your attention to something. So spirit is locking and shedding everything down in this person's life and whoever is connected to them. That's why spirit is saying protect your energy, okay? This is somebody who's going through spiritual, is in spiritual jail. But some of them, like I said, they could go to physical jail. They could be spending a lot of money to stay out of jail. But uh, whoever this is, stay the hell away from them, okay? Stay away from them. This is somebody you don't want around you right now. We also got laborer. 
and it says your your hard work will be rewarded soon keep at it um this is talking about i feel like this is you guys but i'm also picking up the energy of this person is going through a lot they could be working hard for like a little bit of change okay they could be doing maintenance work they could be a painter or something like here i mean like that or they could be working at um like a warehouse or something but this is really not bringing them any money in it's more money leaving them than coming in and that's something that you know a lot of us is breaking away from that uh, but this is somebody who's suffering, y'all, especially financially. That could be another reason why they're wanting to come back. And that's why they don't want to see y'all succeed. Because whoever this is look like a damn fool. Because a lot of you guys are the golden goose. You was the missing piece in this person's life. But Spirit wanted, wanted you guys to see this person hard. Spirit wanted you to see the truth about this person. So when your abundance started coming in, this wasn't going to be somebody who could take from you under your nose. No. Spirit put you through this for a reason. You went through that pain for a reason. You learned a lot. So when people come in your life, you're going to be able to tell, oh, hell no. I'm good. No, no, no. We can't be friends. No. Block. <laughs> Okay, spirit, spirit showed y'all the truth about this person. And like I said, something about you guys are about to find your treasure. Or if you've been working hard at something, especially between now and the end of May, you're going to hit the launch button. Something that you're doing is going to take off. Okay, it might not be at the end of May. It could be in like close, well, the beginning of June or something like that. But it's happening. This is the time. So I'm hearing get to work, get organized, um, find out what you need to do. Okay, research, take time out and meditate. Everything that has ever came to me came to me in meditation. It came to me in visions. Okay, you got to talk to God. You can't just say you pray to God. You have to pray. Prayer is um, you asking God for something. Meditation is when you receive the answer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see the answer. Here, show me why I need to see for my collection. Show me why I need to see for my beautiful collection here. Whatever I need to know. Oh, y'all, I just saw, I just saw a jail. Here, show me why I need to see. Somebody is going to jail. Um. Um. Look, y'all. We got a bird here. I don't know what the hell type of bird is this. This look like a tropical bird. I don't know if y'all can see it. This bird look very tropical. Y'all could be, some of you guys are going to an island here. But I'm also getting the energy that if you're seeing a lot of birds, this is your angels. These are your angels talking to you. I'm hearing pay attention to what the bird is doing. If the bird is drinking water, for some of you guys, you need to drink more water. If you see two birds playing, then that means a soulmate or, um, um, yeah, a soulmate is coming into your life or your soul tribe could be coming in. Like if you see three of them, um, if you see birds fighting, that's this damn person here. Okay. There's one to come back into your life without this damn conflict. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the symbolism is what I'm being told to tell you. All right. Like I said, a lot of you guys are unicorns. You're different. You're a rebel. You're standing out. You're doing your own thing. You're not um, something about you guys um, shaking up the system. I'm actually seeing like a box being shaken up. Thank you, boo. Um, something about y'all shaking up the system here. Uh, whatever it is that y'all doing, this is very unique. It's very different. And you're going to draw a lot of attention to you. Okay, I'm also hearing something about your energy and your aura. It's going to be standing out around this time. For a lot of you guys, um, you are going through this 5D. Because we got, this is a Jesus symbol here. The fish with the cross. And remember y'all, I told y'all I saw two fish. I said some of you guys are about to meet a Pisces. So we got a fish here. But I'm definitely seeing something about the 5D. The 5D is all about Christ consciousness. That's about us having clarity. Um, I'm also hearing love. There's going to be a lot of love in the air um, to rule out this toxic masculine energy. I'm hearing the old way got to go. So after, after the 5D is unity. So 
Yeah, I'm picking up that a lot of people in the future is going to be coming together. But there is definitely going to be a lot of love in the air. That's all about the 5D and seeing the truth. Yeah, the truth regarding the world or the chaos or in the pain. Something about love conquers all is what I'm hearing. Love conquers all. Um, And we also got a spatula or something. Shit. This is a spoon. So I'm picking up you guys are mixing your skills. Something about mixing your talents, your gifts. I'm, um, I'm hearing put a little flavor in your ear. Some, some of you guys could be creating music. Or you could incorporate this into your content. But it matches your content. And I'm also seeing a lot of editing. A lot of transitions. Hooks. You know what I'm saying? That really catch it catch people eyes something about you guys mixing the ingredients this is going to bring you a lot of wealth do you hear me all right so y'all that is what i got <laughs> i am in love with this energy i feel so good i feel rejuvenated i don't know about y'all this this uh full moon is in scorpio i'm a scorpio and oh god it, it just feel good to me i i feel like everything is starting to fall in place and i hope it's doing the same thing in you guys life but for those of you who have been working on something here um it's about to take off babe for those of you who haven't you need to find something that's going to generate you some type of income do not trust the system let me tell y'all something i've been seeing a lot of robots i've been seeing a lot of ai they are making machines okay to work on people in the surgery room anytime you can make a machine to do surgery baby they got machines serving people at tables now they are creating machines to build cars and more shit like that robots is going to be taking over soon so it's time for you guys to generate your own income okay um that's what i'm being told to tell y'all because I'm picking up that things are about to take off in five years is we're not going to be in the same era no more so spirit is wanting for you to secure your bag okay secure your bag is what i'm being taught to tell y'all y'all that's what i got i hope y'all enjoyed the messages <laughs> get to work baby it's all about you it's all about you right now that's why i say i ain't worried about nobody i know spirit gonna send me somebody I want my bag, okay? I want to, when I die, I want to leave my baby something behind that they can continue to build off of. And y'all, pay attention to y'all dreams. I've been telling y'all this. Lucid dreams are going to be very big around this time. Spirit is going to be dropping a lot of gems. So my nine-year-old, she spent the night in my mom's house the other night. And, um... She came home today, this morning, whatever. But right before she went to bed, she said, Mama, I had a dream. I said, what you dream about, baby? She said, I dreamt of a line. I said, a line? She said, yeah. I said, well, where were you? Um, she said, I was in a cave. And um, I said, well, what did the line say to you? She said, the line said, hello. And it said, welcome to your new home. And she said, she dreamt she was a cub. <laughs> I said, baby, what you dreaming about the Lion King? <laughs> she said, it was like the Lion King, but you was the lion. And it's funny because the other night she wasn't even here when I told you, you guys that I dreamt I was looking for a home. So for my baby to come in, my all my kids are gifted. All of them are. For my baby to come in and tell me that and I had a lucid dream of me looking for a home and somebody giving me a baby and uh, I saw the altar with a big statue of my cousin on it. Um, I'm telling y'all, pay attention to your dreams. Take time out to meditate. Before you go to sleep, right when you are in between woke and sleep, talk to spirit. Talk to your angels. Ask God to show you a vision of whatever it is that you're needing to know. Okay? Continue to think that until you fall asleep. Spirit, you're going to astro travel. And spirit is going to show you what you need to know okay i'm here and trust believe and have faith you got to believe that spirit is going to show you okay so y'all that's what i got okay i'm done now i'm done y'all <laughs>